Hi, this is Martha. Welcome to Essential Somatics. Today I'd like to show you my absolute favorite movement that I do all the time and I call it reach to the top shelf. Now this movement, well once you learn this movement you have absolutely no excuse not to do your practice because your practice does not have to be done on a yoga mat with certain kinds of clothing, right? You can do your, you can do your practice standing up and this movement proves it. So I do this movement in the grocery store, in the post office, as I wait for my plane, I do it probably six times a day and it makes me feel great, centered in my body, connected to myself. So I'll show you how to do it. So imagine that you had something that you wanted to reach right up there, but instead of using brute force, you're going to use your brains. You say, okay, what would I have to do to reach up to that top shelf? And you're going to reach and lengthen one side of your body as you shorten the other side. And notice how I'm rolling up onto the ball of my opposite foot. And then you're going to come down and you say, well, wait a second, there's something else up there that I want to get. And you come on up on the other side, shortening this side of your body as you gently reach on this side. Now don't go any farther than is comfortable. You don't need to because you're using your entire body to do this reach instead of just using your arm. Right? So as one side lengthens, the other side shortens. My hip comes up, my armpit comes down, and when I use my entire center of the body, it's so much easier to reach than if I did this. Ugh. Let me try to reach to the top shelf. I can't quite get there. Think of what a child would do who's standing at a counter and says, ooh, there's a cookie up there and I think I want that cookie. The, the child would reach and use the entire body, lengthen one side and shorten the other and then go, ah, oh, there's another cookie. I'm gonna reach for that one. Okay, so one of the things that you can also do uh, with this movement is this really helps you to reset the waist muscles that get really tight on one side if you hold a baby on your hip, if you do a one-sided activity, maybe you're always twisting to one side, uh, maybe you've had an accident or an injury, a uh, one-sided surgery. So this pandiculates the waist muscles. One side contracts gently into the tension and slowly releases. The other side contracts into the tension and slowly releases. And the brain gets a chance to recalibrate this coordination of one side lengthening, the other side shortening, that is so critical to free and easy walking and reaching and twisting and bending and, and just about any sport that we do, any activity that we do. So you can also do this up against a flat wall, which is why I have this wall in back of me. And when I put my heels at the baseboard and allow my shoulders just to relax into the wall, this gives me a really good idea of whether or not I'm a little bit twisted. Maybe I'm a little bit bent to one side, right? Because I can feel my shoulder blades snuggled up against the, the wall. I use the wall as my feedback, as my guide. And if I reach to the top shelf using the wall as my guide, now I can tell whether or not I'm, I'm pandiculating to the side or if I'm twisting. Right? Now twisting is a fine movement, but it's not this movement. <laughs> so Feel free to use the wall as your guide, if you feel like it, and do this movement everywhere. Whenever you feel a little bit tight, stand up, go ahead and reach to the top shelf. It's, it's very similar to that lovely yawn you might do in the morning in bed. It's also similar to the human X, which is a movement you can find on my Basics Pain Relief Through Movement DVD. So use it, pendiculate often, and let me know how it goes. Thanks for joining me.